So when I was preparing for my trip to Barbados, I was looking at some of these Caribbean vlogs and they were so boring, like boring. But then I realized these people just don't know how to have a great vacation, even during the pandemic. So I put together these four tips. This is how I had a phenomenal time. Those who are following me on Instagram, you already saw. If you are not, click the highlights button and check out my Barbados trip. Here are your four tips for how to have a bomb vacay while COVID is going on. Number one, choose the right location spot. So if you've been following me, you already know, you see all the Caribbean vibes, tropical vibes, I should say behind me. I was on a quest to visit the Caribbean. I didn't care which island it was, but you have to choose the right location. So initially I was looking at Jamaica, but the thing about Jamaica is you have to stay within the resilient corridor, which is an area specifically for tourists, which means there's no interacting with locals. And for me, being a person of West Indian heritage is just very important. When I go to the Caribbean, I interact with locals. Actually, it's important wherever I go to interact with locals. And if you've never had a vacation where you've done that, you are missing out on a lot because you're missing the opportunity to experience the true essence of the country or the island that you're going to. So make that a priority. Now in Barbados, I chose Barbados because although I have to do a one day quarantine, if I'm vaccinated, if you're not vaccinated, it would be longer. And in that case, I wouldn't recommend you go. But because it was only one day of quarantine, to me, it was worth it. Because once I finished my quarantine, I could roam the island and hang out with the locals, do my thing, go anywhere I please, experience nature, etc. So that's number one, choose the right location with the most opportunity and safety. Another thing I liked about Barbados is I know a lot of people are turned off when there's like quarantines and things like that. But for me, that just makes me more trusting of you and the fact that you are taking this very seriously and the chances of me catching COVID while I'm in your country are much slimmer. And make sure you stay tuned for my recommendations on specific places to go, okay? I could not find this with other blogs, so I'm gonna give you the real, real. Number two. Make the most of your quarantine. Quarantine is only one day in this case in Barbados. So first thing I would say is definitely make sure you're staying on a resort. The thing is when you're on a resort, you have access to the pools, you have access to the restaurants and things like that while you quarantine. That makes a big difference versus having to stay in your room the entire time. Then in addition to that, it's a great time to do a photo shoot. Let me show you this picture here that I took. And we actually did a full out photo shoot. <laughs> If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram to check out the photo shoot. So you can do that. You can take a dip in the pool. You can eat, which is one of my favorite pastimes. And then if you're still looking for things to do, get some work done. How many times do you get the opportunity to like be creative in a new space? And for me, it was the Caribbean, right? Look at the backdrop, palm trees, tropical plants, bodies of water. It was very inspiring for me. And so I took that opportunity to not only spend time with God, but then in addition to that, start drafting out some of the creative ideas that I plan to do in the future. It works wonders for your inspiration. And so I encourage you, you should definitely take advantage of it. Some resorts that I recommend, I stayed at Beachview. That was a great space. And if you can get the room that's right next to the restaurant and the pool, wonderful. I also heard the crane is really nice. I think a lot of tourists go there just to visit period. So there's like a ton to do and a ton of restaurants, but it's really beautiful and pretty huge as well. So those would be my top two recommendations. Number three, talk to the locals. I know I said this already, but you're not experiencing the country or the island in its full form unless you experience through it through the locals' eyes. What would be ideal and the safest thing to do is to touch base with your friends to see who knows somebody in that location where you're going. For me, that's what we did in Barbados and that, that was just the bomb time because once again, like safety wise, you don't have as much to worry about. And then also you've already received check of approval from your friends. So you know they'll show you a good time. Now, if you don't have that option, another great thing is just talk to people. When you're at the restaurants, talk to the bartender, the folks who work there, talk to your taxi driver. If you are doing a tourist attraction, talk to them as well. And just conversation about what to do, where are the best places to go. And some people, if it feels right, and once again, practice safety, don't be silly about it and like hop into a car with someone you don't know but you can meet up with them at that location during like 
you know, daytime hours. But be smart about it, especially as a female. I will say in Barbados, a lot of the locals were extremely welcoming, very helpful. Of course, there's a, a privilege of being a female, right? Especially if you're interacting with men. Even in paying attention and observing other people's situations, it just seemed like that was the overall aesthetic there. So talk to the locals, y'all. Don't just do what the tourists do. That's boring. Mm. Like this video if these points are helpful thus far. Actually, go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know which let me know which ones are helpful. So a lot of people kept telling me that St. Lawrence Gap is like where everyone goes to hang out. It's a better choice to go on the weekend in the nighttime. So when we went, we went on Thursday, so I can't really speak to it. I will say there were a lot, it's like a strip, like a Miami strip, comparable, I should say, their version of it, where there's a ton of restaurants and there's music playing and just like different, there might be little bars and lounges and whatnot. When we went on Thursday, it was pretty dead, but we enjoyed having some pretty great food. So I would say go there on the weekend because everyone was like, no, you have to go there on the weekend. It's still not what it used to be. Let me just clarify and say that. But if you want to see it closest to what it used to be and furthest from what I experienced, <laughs> you got to go on the weekend. So make sure you check that out, the St. Lawrence Gap in Christchurch. But what I will say is on Thursday when St. Lawrence Gap was not popping, I did take my behind down the street to Influencer Bar, which is a new bar or lounge that this 24 year old named Jordan English opened up. And I have to salute him because there were a lot of people there. And this is a Thursday night, mind you, when St. Lawrence Gap was not popping, they were. So there's a lot of people, the food looks really great. Sucks that I didn't eat the food because we had just come from St. Lawrence Gap, so I was full. But every time I see the pictures on Instagram, and I'm gonna tag it below, it always looks so good. So I'll say them, great music, and it's definitely a younger crowd if you're looking for like millennials and Gen Z crowd. Mm -mm. I say millennials. Is 24 millennials? I said I saw mostly millennials that night. Praise the Lord, because I don't think, well anyways. And then you can also check out Mojo's that looked like that was popping from outside. And those are my recommendations. Now, wherever you go, I'm pretty confident when I say that you must try like this is my second one that I tried and I'm gonna tag them below. It's Licorice is the company, L-I-C-K-R-I-S-H, I think Tourism, B-I-M on Instagram. But their tour was good. Cause like I told you, the food was mediocre, right? When I had been there before, just eating this mediocre tourist catering food. And then finally, I felt like Licorice put me on to like some new things too. As a person with West Indian heritage, like I felt like I knew it all. And for some reason I thought we all eat like similar foods, but I'm realizing we don't. So that was good to like experience, what is it, putting in sows. I had cuckoo, I think it's like corn, cornmeal and like okra, but it's the, it's the, it's the gravy. It's the gravy for me. Yeah, it was really, really good. Fish cakes, like real fish cakes. Cause I'll be honest, um, I'm not gonna tell you where, but I just gonna say. I had a fish cake that was not good. It was at a hotel. It was at a tourist focus place. Don't do that. And then we had like some rum caramel ice cream. Look, the whole tour was great. And they gave us like a whole history lesson. I got to check out Bridgetown, which I believe, yeah, is the capital. It was good. That's like the top one on my list. I'll also say like when I met up with some friends, what's up y'all? New friends, actually, funny enough. We had met through the mutual friend. <laughs> But they had told me we met at Velma's right after I did the food tour. And unfortunately, once again, I was full, so I didn't eat. But I heard Velma's food is really, really good. And that's a local spot. So if you choose to check that out, I think it's on the west side. Velma's is another option. And Jamestown is a place that we went to hear some good music. And I guess the closest thing to dancing, you know, it was a great opportunity. Okay. So if they're still on curfew, which by the way, they are on curfew. Curfew ends at 11. But like, I really didn't mind it, honestly. But... Yeah, Jamestown, I believe is the name. So you have to check that out. And then my final thing, of course, you wanna to go to the beach. And while I hadn't, I didn't go to all the beaches, Carlisle Beach was, it satisfied me, honestly. And I will say I went there on a holiday. So I'm sure there were more people there because the holiday was when crap over would normally be. I think it's called Kadoonment. But I went there the day before and I still had a great time. I love, go down to the side by Harbor Lights. You don't have to buy stuff from Harbor Lights, by the way. I thought they were the only ones offering what they were offering initially because they have a website. But when you get there, you'll see that there's a lot of other people offering umbrellas and all the services that they offer for much cheaper. So get in there and look first. But go down to the Harbor Lights side because there you'll find all the water sports so you can jet ski you can do like glass boats and swim with turtles you can check out shipwrecks there's like a slide and a trampoline in the middle of the water. like it's bomb girdly and i actually ended up doing girdly's my friend we ended up doing two days at the beach and it was just beautiful and like if you come across anybody selling fresh fruit juice drink it okay because this man 
he sold us this tamarind juice girdly got bay leaf and lime i think and it was so refreshing it was so beautiful i'm still in love i'm actually kicking myself i kicked myself for not buying two and number five Manage your expectations. This is a pandemic. If you go there with the main goal to relax, de-stress, take in nature, anything extra is a cherry on top, then you'll be satisfied and you'll be good. Nature and like the welcoming attitude of the locals like made it for me, honestly, like made it wonderful. But like I said, interact with the locals to figure out where people are going. I gave you some options for like the nighttime before curfew. I think by the time this video comes out, curfew might be over, so look into that. If you take in nature, like I said, I did the beach, we did Harrison's cave. I didn't mention that, but that's another option. Just like going for walks places, just taking it real slow, very different from what we do in the US. You will have a great time and go with the right person. So if you've been to Barbados and you have any extra suggestions, definitely list them below because we all wanna know. I have realized and I've been saying like my plan is to spend a couple of months somewhere. I think Barbados might be it. That's how great of a time I had. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and check out this one because yeah. You already know it's great content. Come on.